Welcome back guys. So let's start with web services basics. Now, what is web service? So to say in very broad terms, it is a method of communication between two applications or it could be two electronic devices. Maybe the method of communication between mobile and um, web, mobile apps and web apps. Okay. So all these communications happen over the world wide web. So web services are nothing but APIs as well. So when I say web services, so these are subset of APIs. So you can take it as a both terms, web services or API. So basically, as I said, this is method of connecting two applications. Okay, so let me take one real time example first to explain the scenario. And I'll explain where exactly web services comes into picture in real time so that you can simulate and understand the definition very clearly. Okay, so I'll start with one um, scenario where let me take one flight website. Okay, it could be British Airways. Okay, so basically British Airways uh, give the flight options to fly to various cities across the world. Now, so you can go and book your flight tickets through British Airways. For example, I'm flying from London to Paris through British Airways. So British Airways came up with a new plan that after clients book the tickets from London to Paris. So once the confirmation of ticket is displayed on the page, they want to show the hotel recommendations in Paris. Okay, because if the people flying from London to Paris, 50% of the people will be visitors only. So visitors after reaching the Paris, they will obviously look for a hotels again by logging in different websites. So British Airways came to a strategy plan that to increase their market. So after confirming ticket from London to Paris, they want to provide hotel options to the people. But hotel is not British Airways business. Okay, they just operate flights. So for that, they want to uh, get into partner with another hotel company and integrate their code with British Airways. Okay, so British Airways went and reached hotels.com website and asked for integration of their code on British Airways website. Okay, so British Airways is developed in Java but hotels.com is developed in .NET using Visual Studio and C Sharp. So when they started integrating, the developers then realized that both are on different platforms. Okay, so one website is completely on Java and another website is completely on .NET. Okay, so they cannot integrate these two sites as a one strong application. Okay, that's a catch here because of their uh, different programming languages and different platforms they used to develop their website. So here comes a loophole in talking to multiple applications and integrating them. So now web services will play a role of solving this problem. Okay. So now for example, so what functionalities did British Airways required from hotels.com website? Okay, it, it does not require entire website functionalities like manage reservations or change the hotel room and all. It just need to book a hotel. Okay, so British Airways told that I need like if someone provide me the destination, then it should show the hotels in that destination area. That's all. That is the basic thing. Okay, and also the payment gateway so that they can book it from our website. So payment gateway can handled by British Airways only. But again, so payment gateway, British Airways understood that PayPal is now booming like anything. So many users are conveniently using PayPal to purchase. But again, PayPal is another website. Okay, so how to integrate PayPal service into British Airways payment gateway? That's again a problem. So again, they reach to PayPal team to provide them a gateway because they want to um, book the hotel 
with a PayPal gateway. So they need two parties here, one to reach hotel.com for destination. So hotel.com guys said, as we cannot integrate because we are both operating under different platforms, I can give you as a web service or we can say I can give you as an API. Okay, the code where we hit a destination, enter a destination and search for hotels and the list will display, right? That's a block of the code hotels.com have. So that entire code is wrapped as a web service. Okay, so these developers will write a web service with that destination search code. Okay, to display the, all the hotels in that specific destination. They'll create a web service for it. Okay, how to create a web service is not our headache. That's the developers can take care. So we are concentrating on how to test the web service in this course. Okay, so they will come up with, um, there are different uh, Java libraries available to create a web service. They will wrap that code as a web service and they will ask us to provide only the destination name which you want okay if british airways people send paris to that web service okay so now web service plays as intermediary role between this hotels.com and british airways so the web service which they created is a destination search right so they will expose this web service and give it to british airways but the logic here is this web service is independent of any language. Okay. This service does not depend on any Java or any programming language. This is just a tool independent. This just work on HTTP protocol. That's all. Okay. So you can use this web services or APIs in any website. Okay. You can expose it to the public to use across anywhere. Okay, so hotels.com exposed and created a web service and not only to British Airways, he reached to all the um, flight related websites, British Airways, Etihad, Emirates, all the airlines and ask you to utilize our web service to check out the hotels so that I can give you commission if the people book from your website. Okay, so now british airways can simply use their api which hotels.com gave into their website that's all so what does this api do so if you pass a destination details and hit this service this service will talk to the hotels.com code and get back the all the results of the hotels available in the paris and this and give as a response back to the british airways okay so you need not worry about the code compatibility. This service can read your inputs, can talk to their website and it can get the response. It will give it back. In this way, everything will be populated here. And this British Airways need not take any headache on integrating the code. So it will simply ask if you can expose us an API to search for hotels. Okay. If hotels.com says that I do not have any API to do that, these guys will reach another vendor. Okay, there are another hotels websites, right? They'll reach out to there and ask if you have any APIs to expose. If they have, they, when they can utilize that and place that in their website. Okay, so in this way, web services comes into picture. So the way we talk to web service as a request and the web service gives a response back to uh, this website in the form of XML or JSON. Okay, the language which is used for communication is either XML or could be JSON. So I'll talk about much about this in the next lecture. Like if it is a SOAP web service, we use XML and if it is a REST API, we use a JSON for request and responses, which I would clearly talk in my next lecture. Okay, so hope you understand where web services is coming into picture and here as well. And when the payment gateway and British Airways felt that there are many PayPal customers. So PayPal exposed it API and gave out email ID and password. Okay, so it simply said give email ID and password to our API so that our API logs into their account and deduct the balance and will credit the balance into your payment portal. Okay, all the payment can PayPal can take care. So what all we need to do is take the PayPal API which they were using and with the details 
pass a request to this API. This API will internally connect to their PayPal official code and do all the operations. Okay, you need not worry about how web service talks to their actual code. Okay, so what all you need to is, is web services responding properly? If we send a request, are we getting a response which we expected? Okay, our testing is in that scope. Okay, we will be testing this web service. So how is reacting for different requests and how the responses are coming? Are the responses correct? Okay, so our main focus will be on testing this core web services and API. Alright, I hope you got clear idea on how this works in real time. And even in your website and some personal blogs or website, you will see some the tweets flowing on the home page. Okay, how the Twitter tweets come into their website. Because this website guy have simply used the Twitter API. Okay, there is a Twitter API to show the status of any user. They'll simply pass the username and Twitter API will get the fetch the status of the user and it gives as a response to the website and website publishes in their site. Okay, and Google Maps. If you want to buy any land and it at right side you will say as a search, uh, we are a search for address. Or if you go to any website and if you click on contact us button, at the down you will have a Google Maps location. Okay, how does Google Maps placed there? Do you think that they have taken Google Maps code? No, they just asked Google Maps to expose their API and their API they have published by in their website. Okay, so it's all about uh, web services and APIs and this does not really require any language. So it's an independent of language. It could be Java, it could be C Sharp or it could be Python, anything. You can talk to any application over internet or you can talk to any device as well. Okay. When you sign up, you can also sign up sometimes through mobile app as well, right? If you have any portal, you will sign up through web or you can also sign up through mobile. Okay. So when you sign up through mobile, so there is an API login API, which actually connects to real code on the web. Okay. In this way, you can actually talk with the mobile and web as well. The connection between those two can be formed with the help of APIs. Okay, so in this course, we are going to test this web services and API because how they are behaving are their behavior is proper as expected. Okay, so and what are the different ways to test this and how to automate this web services, all those we will be seeing in this course. Okay, so let me go back to the definition and now see and let's read it again. Web service is a method of communication between two applications or electronic devices over World Wide Web. I think with the example and the usage, whatever I have given now, you are very clear with this definition. All right. So in the next lecture, let's see what are types of web services available and how to uh, invoke and test them. Okay. Thank you.